For those of you who would like to mark your catalogs in that large spring calf class, the results are as follows. And I will be delivering to you the top 10 entries. If you would like the complete placings in the class, please go to www.worlddairyexpo.com. Again, we'll reintroduce to you our top 10 in the spring calf class, starting with entry 2466. She placed ninth. Entry 2471 was seventh in the class. 2474 was fifth. Entry 2479 stood sixth. Entry 2480 was tenth. Entry 2491 was the winning entry in Best Bread and Owned. She is Pit Crew Rasta Tricky, exhibited by Bo Trap and owned by Pit Crew Genetics of Cambridge, Minnesota. Entry 2495 stood third in the class. She was Black Ridge Our Look My Way, exhibited by Haley Gurink and Calvin Webster of Blue Mounds, Wisconsin. Entry 2496 was second in the class. She's Breeze Ridge FP Cindy Lou, exhibited by Zoe Lassley of Woodsboro, Maryland. Entry 2501 was fourth in the class, and entry 2504 stood eighth. The class now in the ring are the winner heifer calves. The first place award in this class is presented by Almost Mine Farms LLC, the Tom Hosley family of Broadhead, Wisconsin. The Bread and Owned Award is going to be presented by Jennings Gap Dairy LLC, the Swope family of Churchville, Virginia. And the Junior Awards are presented by Prairie Hill Farm, Ashley Gar Garbers of Mindoro, Wisconsin.
placings are complete in the International Brown Swiss Winter Calf Class. At this time, we'd like to recognize our winning entries. Please take a step forward. Our junior second place award winner is entry 2515. She is KADR Kingsley Daisy, exhibited by Cassidy, Ashlyn, Delaney, and Riley Oliger of Hagerstown, Indiana. Third place honors in the class go to entry 2547, Opsel J. Pop A. Bottle, exhibited by Peter Vale and Joseph Opsel of Englewood, Florida. Second place in the class and your winning junior entry is entry 2533, Lorland Sky High Showdown, exhibited by Lauren D. Lamoureux of Louisville, Ohio. And the winning entry and best bred known in the class is entry 2549, Brown Heaven Ant Sister Dally, exhibited by Brown Heaven of Ashar, Quebec. And now for his comments on this class, Judge DeBruin. Well, a little different uh, kind of a class to line up. We moved several up from farther down the line, but uh, the longer you look at these heifers, the, the more convinced you are this heifer in first has to win. She just has that overwhelming dairy strength, that massive open rib, and it's that openness of rib and length and stretch that takes her over the beautifully balanced calf in second. I told the young man in second if his heifer would eat another bale of hay, he, she might be pushing the uh, heifer in front of her. She gives away a little in drop of rib, but uh, she makes up for all of it with the beautiful balance. She does have a little tighter shoulder than the calf I'm winning with. Calf in second over the calf in third, a little bit more cleanness through the thigh. Uh, she's the calf in first is a little more in curving in the thigh, a little higher in the thorough, and uh, always gives you a good look. Uh, I love this openness of rib on this big, massive chested open rib heifer in third, and she goes over the heifer behind her because of her advantage and strength. She's, in addition to that, she's so much for full through the crops and has more width and strength and chest. I love the flash and the splash of this heifer leading out and forth. You get her in line and she likes to settle out a little bit through the chine, uh, through the crops, uh, but you sure have to love the openness. Uh, she he goes over the heifer behind her because in particular she tracks straighter on her front feet. Uh, heifer uh, following her in sixth, in fifth, uh, we kept moving her up and moving her up. You love the frame. Uh, initially, I was a little bit turned off at the way she toes out in front, but she is a long-trained, beautiful framed heifer, ultra dairy. She goes over the heifer behind her. The heifer behind her was the real problem for me when she walked in. Uh, she was pulling herself together uh, tight on the sh uh, across through the chine, full through the crops. Whenever she stops and settles out uh, through the front end, uh, you don't like her just quite as much as you did initially. Great class, and congratulations to all the exhibitors. And before she leaves the ring, we'd like to congratulate our second place entry in the class and our winning junior entry. She is actually entry 2553, Hills Valley P-Ball Whopper, exhibited by Blake Hill of Cattaraugus, New York. Congratulations, exhibitors. <laughs> 